Guys, welcome back. As you remember from one of the videos I mentioned about me doing a fish room, we all have these bright spark ideas, don't we? Right, in my back garden, I have got a 21 foot by, I think it's 20 foot shed, if you like, that I built myself. And then I came out with these stupid ideas. The problem I've got is I use it for my tools, my welder, all my mechanics tools, my toolbox, as we do and then i came up with this idea and do you know what what happened what about if i converted half of it into a fish room but it probably won't stop there it never does does it it always extends luckily i'm being very lucky is this you can see behind me i'll, I'll have a quick look in a minute i know it doesn't look pretty but you just gotta bear with me is it's got two inches of loft insulation you know the fiberglass stuff that comes out in a roll and then it's got another two inches of this thermal stuff as well. So you're talking four inches of thermal all the way around, um, which I've been doing the last couple of days. Then I've, I've, I've run out of ideas because even though it doesn't look pretty, it's going to work. Then I thought, right, what do I put a pond liner all the way around to hide it, to make it look more smarter? I don't know. But it's not a showroom. It's just it's just something for me. You know, it's something that we all enjoy. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching it. Um, then today, I ran to a shop in the UK, what we call Wix's, and I got the plastic tubing that you can see here behind my head. It goes all the way around. Let me see if I can point in the right place. Yep. <laughs> um, and that is literally just a square with 90 degree elbows on it, all push fit which I believe they call a close, closed circuit. So then what I'll do is, I'll tap into that um, with a big air pump, which I've already got, which then fills it up with air, and then I'll tap into it as many times as I want with the little metal air valves, you know? Uh, which then I can attach to the tanks. Like I said, it doesn't look pretty at the moment. It really doesn't. But it works, it's functional for what I want, you know? This area here that you're looking at behind me now is 12 foot by 8 foot. It's, it's big compared to, I suppose, small sheds, conversion sheds that I've seen people do. And they look amazing, they really do. But I'm stuck with the point of, I've got this and I've got that which is like my workshop, stroke, shed, where I do like DIY jobs. So I still need to insulate all that behind me. Otherwise the heat that I'm gonna have in here is gonna evaporate through there because I haven't insulated that yet, but it will be coming. But the tanks are all gonna have heaters in them. Plus I've got a thousand watt oiled radiator so as well as so hopefully with the oil filled radiator we'll keep the room temperature nice which means then the way my thinking is the heaters in the tanks won't have to work as hard but i still need to get that insulated otherwise the heat in here is just going to evaporate but i even thought of see if i can see we've got the wall they've got the partition here it's put a false wall in there put a false wall and a door and then insulate that so I just walk in and out I don't know put some comments down below let me know just give me some ideas give me some ideas of what you've done to give me some ideas what I can do um, and hopefully it's all gonna get done but as you you know it, it's a blood it's a big space it really is I've just got um, I've got the stands to do next which I've got all the wood but like I was saying, I've been really lucky. I know it's not pretty, but all this insulation and the two inches of loft insulation that's behind it. So like I said earlier, you know, four inches. I didn't pay for it. It didn't cost me anything. So I'm quids in at the moment. So then I can concentrate on, you know, paying for all the rest of the bits that I need. But at the moment, I've got this little crappy little temperature thing here. The shed door's open 
none of that's insulated there that you've seen behind me none of that only this bit in here and look let's see if i can show you i don't know if that's going to show up right it might be back to front but it's 78.5 fahrenheit which is quite warm i know don't get me wrong i know before you start put, slagging me off and putting crappy comments i know we're in the summer i know i get that but also the roof of this has also got two inches of rubber all over it and then the metal sheeting over the top of that so that even the roof even though i've done this i didn't really need to it's massively massively insulated the roof is all the way down all over it so i've got a big job ahead big job ahead but i just wanted you to i just wanted to take you along with my journey read your comments thumbs up do all the rest of the good stuff that people do on youtube and let's have a good community and let's have a good chat let's have a bloody good chin wag give me your like i said give me your ideas see if there's something that i'm missing here something that i haven't thought of yet and we'll go from there but i ain't looking forward to doing all that i'm really not this this bit has took me long enough it took me long enough but this little tank here that you can see this keeps perfectly at temperature and that was before i even did any of the insulation which is with a little heater in there but all's in there is literally ram's horn snails i had to literally just breed my own ram's horn snails to feed to my mabu puffer so yeah stop me babbling on yeah rick come on stop waffling you're waffling now northern finger thing or ex-military thing one or the other anyway that's it let's stop it there because i'm just waffling i'm just babbling on right guys give us a thumbs up put your comments down below I, it's just a little little heads up a little short video guys thank you very much see you in the next one